Virgin Mary is incorporated in the prayer life of the Eastern Church in a very pronounced way. A deep devotion to the Mother of God, referred to as Theotokos. The Sullivan priest, who is the Archbishop-elect, sings a doxology at the conclusion of the prayer in the Arabic language. For to you is due all glory, Amen. honor, and worship. Amen. O our God, and you love mankind, and we render unto you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Through the prayers of the Mother of God, O Savior, save us. First in Greek. Through the prayers of one who gives birth to God, Savior saves. These are the antiphons that are traditionally sung from ancient times, verses that accompanied the clerics as they entered the church, which still is the tradition. The liturgy begins with antiphons, verses, psalms sung before the actual entrance, which we will witness very soon. The coming of the Gospel book symbolizes the coming of our Lord in humility as prophet. Prophet, priest, and king are seen in the processions of the Eastern Church. Now you will see the Gospel book carried to symbolize our Lord comes, and they will begin to sing the great hymn of the incarnation of the East, O only begotten Son and Word of God, immortal as you are, you condescended for our salvation to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and of a Virgin Mary. And without undergoing change, you became man. You were crucified, O Christ God, and trampled down death by your death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, equal in glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. The Gospel book now is carried through the gate to symbolize our Lord coming in humility to bring us the wisdom of God, the truth of God, to bring man's presence back into heaven. This is known as the little entrance of the Eastern Church. The area of the altar is always elevated. It symbolizes heaven, whereas, as you spoke of the deacon standing outside, this is the earth plane. The iconostas separates us from heaven and reminds us of the saints mm -hmm. between us and God. They are going to make a complete circumambulation of the church as the, uh, the deacon carries the gospel. The senior archimandrites accompany him in the order of their rank, along with the Archbishop-elect. Immediately next to him is Archimandrite Elias Scaff, for many years as Vicar General. That is Bishop Nicholas Samra, one of the auxiliary, one bishop. of the auxiliary bishops. Patriarch now stands to bless the entrance. The deacon will elevate the book, making the sign of the cross, declaring the wisdom of God. Cross is the wisdom of God that lifts man from earth back into the presence of God.
Now the patriarch leads the prayer, calling all people to fall down. Vefta proskinisumen, keprospesumen in Greek. Come, let us fall down and worship God our King. Save us, O Son of God. This is the traditional entrance hymn. This is the official entrance now, commencement of the liturgy and its more ancient divisions. fishermen with wisdom and through their wisdom has by sending down upon them the Holy Spirit through their wisdom they have caught the whole world into their nets speaking of the holy apostles as simple fishermen by the grace of the Holy Spirit and so just as in the Latin church the veni creator come Holy Spirit is sung so in the Eastern Church it is traditional for the hymn of Pentecost to be sung, which is being sung now in the Greek language. The sensing also symbolizes the coming of the Holy Spirit to us oh, to yes. prepare our hearts and bring us into the presence of God. Jingle of the bells, characteristic of the Greek censors. The cantor now chants a hymn for the the day. This the is day the is the feast of Saint Polycarp. Yes, it the goes martyr, both in the east and the west. Yes, it's a one of those rare times when the calendar coincides. Oh, holy Hieromark Polycarp one of the early apostolic fathers. You lend yourself to the apostles' way of life and succeeded them in the, on their throne. Inspired by God, you found the way to contemplation through the practice of virtue. Wherefore, you became a teacher of truth, fighting for the faith and shedding your own blood. Intercede with Christ God that he may save our souls. Polycarp was one of those early martyrs of the early church. Yes, he had that wonderful thing when the, the king asked him to renounce Christ, he says, how can I renounce him whom I have served faithfully for 86 years and he has never abandoned me? Huh? What marvelous faith and trust in our Lord. This will be followed by a traparia for the patron of the church, the prophet Elias. Mm -hmm. In the Eastern Church, the Old Testament saints, the Old Testament prophets are commemorated in a way not done in the Latin church. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And St. Elias, whose life was so much a part of the whole country of Palestine and Lebanon, the biblical world, is highly venerated. The glorious Elias, angelic in body, pillar of prophets, second herald of Christ, by sending grace upon Elias from on high, dispels disease, cleanses lepers, and overflows with healing for those who honor him. Now they're going to proceed with the ordination as soon as these hymns are There's another Kentuckian of Pentecost. Concluded after they are concluded. The profession of faith that traditionally accompanies the consecration of a bishop in this instance was held last night during the Vesper service in which the candidate is tested for his faith according to the doctrine of the Holy Trinity and the teachings of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church and faith of Jesus Christ. 
which was done last night. And so at this point, we begin with the uh, beginning of the actual order of the laying on of hands and the, uh, in the, in the most ancient rite of setting aside a hierarch. This comes both from the Old Testament. The use of the laying on of hands was done to designate special consecration. The co-consecrating bishops, Archbishop Tawil, Archbishop Abumoch. It is and Tawil being seated now, the yes. former Ebart who is now retiring. The beloved of God, the priest Ignatius, chose and confirmed, is conducted here to be ordained Bishop of Newton <laughs> by his beatitude Maximus V, Patriarch of Antioch and all the East of Alexandria and Jerusalem. These are the senior priests of the diocese who are accompanying the new uh, Archbishop-elect, and they proclaim his coming to the Patriarch. The beloved of God, the priest Ignatius, chosen and confirmed, is conducted here to be ordained Bishop of Newton by his beatitude Maximus V, Patriarch of Antioch and all the East of Alexandria and Jerusalem. chosen and confirmed is conducted here to be ordained Bishop of Newton. <laughs> The veil worn by Archimandrites and bishops symbolizes the monastic office. I, the priest Ignatius, chosen by the mercy of God, have signed with my own hand my profession of faith. Why are you here? And what do you ask of my humble person? The laying on of hands for the grace of the most holy episcopal order. What is your belief? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made. You will notice Who that for the us candidate is came down from heaven professing the, the ancient Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed, the usual creed that is used in all the churches during the course of the Divine Liturgy or the Mass. And ascended into heaven is enthroned at the right hand of the Father, who will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and of whose kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I profess one baptism for the remission of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The grace of our God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ.